Mars with our mad science update. Uh, hopes of finding life on Mars, at least on the surface, were doubled below Thursday by a study revealing that salt minerals present on the red planet kill bacteria. I am seriously underwhelmed. In lab tests on Earth, compounds known as perchlorates kill cultures of the bacteria. Bacillus subtilis, a basic life form, a research duo from the University of Edinburgh School of Physics and Astronomy, reported. Perchlorates, stable to room temperatures, become active in high heat. Mars is very cold. Now, I would tend to disagree with some of that. Uh... New study, Jennifer Wadsworth and Charles Cockle show the compound can also be activated by UV light without heat in conditions mimicking those on the Martian surface. Kill bacteria within minutes, said the team, implying that the planet was more uninhabitable than previously thought. We want to find life on Mars to be have to take this into consideration and look at trying to find subsurface life that won't be exposed to these conditions, Wadsworth said. This is the old thing, yeah, if there's any life on Mars, it's got to be living on the ground. For chlorides are natural man-made on Earth, or more abundant on Mars when they were first recorded by NASA's Phoenix Lander in 2008. The fact that perchlorates killed B. subtilis in the presence of UV radiation did not necessarily mean all other life forms would similarly die, so Wadsworth further tests would have to be done to confirm this. Perchlorates have previously been spotted in lines, though, to be brain streak, thought to be brown streaks on the surface of Mars. But new study, some brain seeps, although they represent local regions of water availability, can be deleterious cells if they contain perchlorates. Brains do contain some good news, I mean, organic contaminants left on Mars by robotic exploration, of which be subtilis. Kind of one that I'm likely to survive long. Well, yeah, I've been over this before. Shall I bring up uh, Google Earth? I shall. Here's just one area of money. I'm not gonna, I don't have time to be here all morning. I'm not gonna go over them all. Uh, but I think the point here. Is that they're just lying sacks of you know what? Plain and simple. The, the evidence uh, for life on Mars and intelligent life on Mars is more than overwhelming. It's beyond belief that these people continue this little game of theirs. This is why it gets mad science up to. Here we have an obvious patch and vegetation. I don't think there's much question here. How, how are you going to explain this in terms of rocks and dust and sand dunes? Sorry, that's not going to happen. Utterly ludicrous as usual. They continue playing their games. Next week they'll sit, probably say, oh yeah, there's a chance for life on Mars, and then NASA will retract it. They play this game over and over again. And the reason I've said that this matters is that this is fraud. 
uh, what they're doing. Next, uh, let's take a look at this area right here in the center. Just caught my eye. What do we have here? Looks like structures now, doesn't it? I'm so sick of it. They ignore, ignore, ignore everything. Actually, they are ignoring evidence. And they continue to find funds. Thanks for watching.